That's right, burgers and lake time and oh. swimming. It only means that Memorial Day weekend is here. Good morning, everyone. Six o'clock, Jason and Alicia here with So you. many people are eager. I, uh, if you have to work today, I'm sorry. Maybe you can get out a little early. Hopefully. Because the weather's going to be so nice, Sky. I don't think we could ask for more perfect weather on a long holiday weekend. I know, yeah. If you can get out early, uh, then obviously do so. But if not, you'll have plenty of opportunities this weekend to tap into that sunshine. And temperatures in the upper 70s today to the low 80s Saturday and Sunday. And the warm-up continues if you're off Memorial Day. Now we're talking mid 80s next week. We really crank up the heat 54 right now. Southeast winds at five miles per hour. You'll see temperatures warming up to the mid 60s by late morning, flirting with 70 degrees by 11 AM. Look at this gorgeous shot. I don't even see a cloud in sight from this view. Looking over downtown Minneapolis this morning. Time now 601 sun is up and enjoy it. I'll have your seven day forecast here coming up in a little bit. Alicia. Guy, thank you. And it's quiet now. There was a reported stalled vehicle you can see not far from the airport in the Bloomington area, not causing any slowdowns just yet. But I can show you here on this traffic camera. It has pulled up 494 35 W. You can see it's blocking that right shoulder just as people are getting onto that on ramp of 494. So just a heads up, it looks like it's going to be towed away here any minute. Developing right now, students will be in the class this, classroom this morning at Washburn High School in Minneapolis just 13 hours after a stabbing happened inside of the school and gunfire outside of it. We know two teens are in the hospital right now. This all happened in the Powderhorn neighborhood. There were two scenes, one at Washburn and just another just outside of it. CC is there right now where students will arrive in just a few hours. CC. Hey, good morning. Yeah, school leaders just a few hours ago released an update saying school is still a go, but if you don't want your child uh, to be in school today, just make sure you call them out as absent. Within the last 30 minutes, we also did reach out to Minneapolis Public Schools just to get a statement from them about what happened here last night. We're still waiting to hear back, but here's everything we know about what happened last night from police. Uh, police tell us that they got called to Washburn because of a stabbing during a cultural event. They say a fight happened after that stabbing, but crowds scattered once police got here. Police on scene found a 17 year old boy with a non life threatening stab wound. He was taken to HCMC while they res were responding to the stabbing. Officers then heard gunshots. They later arrested a 16 year old boy who was found with a gun. Now, while police said no one was hurt by those gunshots, police later learned that a 15 year old was brought into HGMC with possibly life threatening injuries. As of this morning, we're still waiting on an update about the two who were taken to the hospital. No update so far yet. And from our understanding, Minneapolis police are still searching for the person who stabbed the teen here at Washburn. Guys, definitely a scary situation for the students, staff, families there. CC, thanks for the update. Well, happening right now, long lines are starting to form at MSP Airport as people head out for the holiday weekend. Yes, that's right. TSA says today is going to be one of the busiest days if you're flying. And Megan is live at MSP. And Megan, you've been watching people come and go all morning. Is it picking up at all? It is. Yes, Alicia, it definitely is picking up. I would say in the last 10, 15 minutes, it feels like things are really starting to get moving for what is expected to be an incredibly busy day here at the airport. Let's give you the update right now on wait time. So the South Security checkpoint, that is at less than 15 minutes still. Like I said before, nothing to complain about, right? All right, and then the North checkpoint is at less than 25 minutes, so that's a bit higher than when we last checked in with you, but again, not looking too bad. You know, sometimes we see lines all the way down to where I'm standing and far beyond. About 10 million people are expected to travel through TSA security checkpoints this weekend, and the pressure is really on for TSA and those airlines after it was around this time last year when we started seeing all of those cancellations and those delays leaving people stranded. So both TSA and airlines are really ramping up their staff, making sure that they are well staffed for what is expected to be a very busy weekend. TSA is also expanding pre-check access for teens. Anyone 13 to 17 can now go with their parents through a TSA pre-check as long as they're on the same flight and have a pre-check stamp on their boarding pass to help get through that gate faster. Prior to now, this was only allowed for kids under 12. I've also been keeping tabs on flight statuses throughout the morning. We have had one flight delayed this morning, a Denver flight a United flight to Denver. It's 50 minutes delayed at this point, but I mean, just looking at the board here, 
Things are looking really good. Everything is on time except for that one United flight to Denver. So we'll keep you posted on how things are looking this morning. Things are starting to pick up for a busy day. That means it's uh, always a good idea to get yes. to the airport a little bit early. Don't pull a Jason and get there 45 minutes yeah. before. Yes. Yeah, don't yeah. pull a Jason. All right, <laughs> Megan, thank you. Let's talk gas prices. A lot okay. of people will be driving places this weekend. AAA just dropped new numbers two hours ago. So take a look. Here in Minnesota, you're going to pay three fifty for a gallon of regular. That's seven cents cheaper than the national average, which is about the same as you're going to see over to our friends in Wisconsin. We're following new details about the landfill fire in Rice County that's been burning since Monday. This morning we're learning the landfill will be closed through Monday. The county tells us they are working right now with the state fire marshal's office and the EPA to try to put that fire out. They say staff members are checking on air quality at all residential properties within a half mile of that landfill. So far they say they've not found readings that exceed health limits. Officials are now spreading dirt and clay on the fire to try to smother it. 606 this morning and celebrations honoring the life of George Floyd will pick back up today. Yeah, this week marks three years since his murder at the hands of police and the racial reckoning that followed. There's a Rise and Remember conference today. Also happening tonight, the George Floyd Global Memorial Gala runs from 6 to 11 p.m. at Paisley Park in Chanhassen. It all leads up to a festival tomorrow at George Floyd Square in Minneapolis from 1 until 9 p.m. George Floyd's brother, Philonis, told us that the progress since his brother's death is great, but there's still a long way to go. I never feel like I have justice. There's too many people out here that's having the same problems over and over again. You think what happened to George will be the last because we had a guy sitting on a man's neck for over nine minutes. It's disturbing to me. And I think about what happened to Amir Lott, Dante Wright. Four ex-officers convicted in Floyd's murder are all in prison right now, serving time for state and federal charges. Derek Chauvin, the officer who put his knee on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes, is spending 22 and a half years in prison for Floyd's murder. Thomas Lane, Chu Tao, and J. Alexander King are all serving time for aiding and abetting manslaughter and federal charges of not intervening when Floyd was in a medical crisis. Rideshare drivers in Minnesota are not getting better pay and protections in Minnesota. Governor Walls vetoed the Uber Lyft ride sharing bill about 13 hours ago. Uber actually threatened to leave greater Minnesota and only offer its premium service in the Twin Cities. Lyft says the bill would have forced ride rates to double and the Minneapolis Downtown Council called the bill too extreme. In a few hours, workers at Lunds and Byerly's in Egan and Golden Valley will return to the picket line. They say they're demanding a say in their own health care plan. The workers who have been without a contract since March say a proposal from the company would shift control of their health care plan to a trustee board. In a statement, Lunds and Byerly say they are committed to working on a new contract. The next bargaining session is scheduled for June 6th. An update this morning on two dogs abandoned in Osseo. This morning we're told they're now being cared for by a rescue organization. Maid Marian and Little John were found near an apartment complex on Monday. Police are still trying to figure out who left the dogs in the woods. The rescue group, no dog left behind, says the pups show no obvious signs of abuse and should be ready for adoption in a few weeks. At 609 on this Friday, happy Friday. Come take a look at your screen, beautiful shot of Bidet Makaska in downtown Minneapolis. This weekend we know plenty of, of you are going to be out on the water and there's going to be plenty of sunshine this morning though. Authorities are sharing some important water safety reminders. So listen to this. DNR and U.S. Coast Guard officials gave a demonstration along the shore of Lake Minnetonka. They say this weekend is traditionally the start of the busy boating season and they expect it to be a really busy season. They're reminding boaters not to drink alcohol and operate a boat as it's illegal to drive under the influence. And they offered up several other safety tips as well. Looking for boaters to be safe on the water. So we want to make sure that boaters are checking through their safety equipment, making sure they have their life jackets uh, on board, navigational lights, fire extinguishers, um, sound producing devices. 90% of boating fatality victims aren't wearing life jackets um, when they drown. So that's a big thing that we're looking for. The DNR is also reminding boaters to be cautious of water levels. They say many waterways are at higher levels this year because of all the snow that we had. But a reminder, DNR and Water Patrol will be out and about, uh, I know for sure, on Lake Minnetonka this weekend. So 
follow the rules. Yeah, got to follow the rules. And this is one of those weekends that I wish I had a friend that had a boat because oh. I would love to be out there. <laughs> Anybody want to be my friend? Hey, if you have a boat, call please. Dean. Yeah, he's off right now. Probably getting the boat ready. I, I may need to. Yeah, I may need to go right now. You may need to take this over. For yeah, that too. Yeah. Barbecuing out on the boat. Uh, hey, speaking of that, let's talk about our cabin cast. Any traveling, we're kicking off with Park Rapids. You got to come over to your TV screen to take a look at our cabin cast that I'll be launching again every Friday here on Sunrise. 80 on Saturday, 83 Sunday in Park Rapids. Thanks for sharing. Brenda, down to Faribault, 80 on Saturday, 81 Sunday. A few clouds start to push through in the Faribault area. Alexandria Cassandra captured this shot, doing it right on the lake. Sunshine, wall to wall, 84 Sunday, nice and warm. Lake, uh, or actually, we'll get to Lake Chatech in a minute. Let's go to Hayward. I got to show you this awesome shot. You can see the bear, uh, the black bear, at 80 on Saturday, 81 on Sunday. Joey captured that awesome shot. Northern Lights by Troy, 80 Saturday, 76 on, uh, or rather 78 Saturday, 76 on Sunday. A little chillier there in Hayward. 81 on Saturday there in Brainerd and 83 on Sunday. Thanks for sharing, Mark, those beautiful uh, pups of yours. 79 Saturday and 81 Sunday. Chris captured this in Winona. Awesome weather there. Now let's get to Lake Chatech. All right, you got 80 on Saturday, 82 Sunday. Perfect weather this weekend. Bring it back home to the Twin Cities if you're traveling elsewhere, maybe heading over to western Wisconsin or Iowa or the, over the, the Dakotas. You're not going to run into issues here uh, for the next couple of days. However, if you are traveling west by car, uh, you could run into some showers and storms over both North and South Dakota. Heating up Monday for Memorial Day in mid 80s and then upper 80s next week. And we're cranking up the heat and humidity with showers and storm chances during the afternoon.